Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is cool. Uh, don't know if it's all there, but that is a scope, y'all. Um, it's a gamo scope. Have no idea who the maker is. Okay, maybe we'll find a gun in here. Good morning, everybody. This is Jason Thrift Trader coming back to you with another video. Today, I'm showing you the second part of the last video. Link is in the description of a storage unit we bought yesterday. Um, it was a little 5 by 10 and uh, yesterday we found a safe full of uh, jewelry and we also found uh, several uh, vintage game consoles so it was really interesting. This second half of the video we're gonna find even more vintage game stuff and scopes to rifles. So who knows what else we're gonna find. You'll have to watch to see it. So enjoy the video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Enjoy the video while I go through this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna go through this while you guys enjoy the video. I think this is his, not hers, but I could be wrong. Um, right here I'm looking for tools like that. Shelly, made in England. Nice. Um, I'll be looking for tools and knives and stuff like that in here. Gotta find a spot for this. Okay. There's more tools. But I think it's just going to be kind of a crapshoot, to be honest with you. Aero tank, mega. Okay, this guy was a vapor. All right. What's this? Okay, not sure. I don't think there's really much of anything other than a few tools here and there that are going to be in this. What's in this one? Alright. Nice little igloo there. Food. Great. Mouse attractant. Okay. Let's see what we've got in here. I'm kind of burying myself in here. Pulling a Grimes. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. <laughs> Ooh. All right. One thing at a time. Pennies galore. Got a bunch of pennies there. Uh, that's goop. That's pretty. Random paper stuff. There's another cell phone. Another iPhone there. There's probably, I bet there's 20 phones in this entire storage unit. Or more. Here's another one. Okay. Let's get in this, shall we? I imagine it's probably, oh, it says Weber. Huh, let's see. Oh. Okay, it's a little easel, it's a little painting little painting kit so that's cool that's cool that we need to look this could be good 
is this. I don't think that's anything. We gotta look in here. Okay, no. Dang it. All right. Maybe in here. There's another phone. There's a lot of costume jewelry in here. I don't know if any of it is sterling or not. That's pretty. I doubt it's sterling though. A lot, a lot, a lot of costume jewelry. It just takes one gold piece though to make it all worth it. But I'm not, not seeing anything. That's a nice brooch. Yeah. And I think we saw that, yeah. Okay, what else we got in here? Loads and loads of Crayola, a bunch of this chalk, and uh, what's this? Oh, that's a dugout. That is a dugout. Probably for marijuana. And loads of Sharpies. And that's really about it for that box. Okay, so this was the box that had this stuff right here um, on top of it. And, of course, we got a scale here. This is another scale. But we've, we've also found a couple of pocket knives. This is a frost pocket knife. And then this is a... Uh, where is it? Right here. This is a uh, just a generic Chinese-made knife. That stuff right there is just junk came out of that box. But look what we've uncovered. Um, that looks like... That looks like we could have some... Uh, some tools in there and that's a window unit and we've got all these boxes yet to go so I'm gonna do myself a favor and get a lot of this loaded up real quick and then we'll come back to it all right guys I'm actually starting to sweat and uh, we've got I pulled out a bunch of boxes and just opened them up and set them kind of in a line and we're gonna go through them see what we can find here um, check this out. We're really close to getting into this toolbox. Take a look. Okay, so I know that it's kind of dark in here, but that's the toolbox. And uh, there's a, a Huffy bag up there as well. But these, these right here, this one, this one, um, these right here, and a couple outside we're going to go through. And uh, let's see what we can't find. I literally just popped them open and set them out here in a line. So, uh, the Three Stooges, Collector's Tin, that means it's not worth much. And that looks gross. So, there's that. <laughs> oh. What's in here? Stuff. A lot of stuff. Anything? That looks like junk to me, dude. The bag's nice. What's in here? Nothing. Anything in here? Nope. So, not much in that. Uh, that's really cool. That could be worth something. Wow. Uh... Looks like it's a magnifying light. So that could be that could be something. Who knows? Alright, on to the next one. Nothing in the bag here. Nothing in the piggy bank. Some crystal here. Or pressed glass, one of the two. Same here. Not seeing really anything offhand that's of grave importance. This box, this speaker box, is going straight to the trash. Now let's look in here. When I pulled this thing down, it was really, 
really heavy. So I don't know what we have in here, except we all know what that is, don't we? That's a bong. <laughs> uh, that's probably why. That is a battery. Any of these glasses worth anything? Doesn't look like it. What's in here? Klein tools. Um, another pocket knife. That's a Sheffield. Nice. Bunch of random crap in there. Whoa. Sandy 183. Controlled disposal required. U.S. Compass Magnetic. This could be something. Wow. Look at that. That's kind of nice, actually. So that right there might be worth some money. I'll have to look it up. Other than that... Uh... I don't know. I think that might be to work on uh, jewelry, maybe? Not seeing anything else. What's this? Trash. I don't think there's anything in that. Oh, wow. Look. It's a Stanley staple gun. And a DeWalt grinder. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. All right. Let's keep going. All right. Let's see what we might have in here. That looks like cleaning supplies. There's another knife. Uh, this one's seen much better days. What kind of boots are these? These are Danner. Okay, guys. Uh, and they're actually in pretty good shape, other than missing laces. These Gore-Tex Danner boots are worth money now. Here's a hopper. I wonder if we'll find the gun. It's broken. Oh, well. Wow. That's a load of junk right there, buddy. I don't see anything there. Trash, 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 trash. 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 Junk. Not trash, but not all there. Man, these are some nasty people. Here's NIV Adventure Bible. Brand new in the box. Um, okay, right here. Ball caps. Harris. Oh, great. Ah, I hate looking at that. That's scaring me. Ugh, making me itch. Just here's the gun. It's a Spider Compact 2000. Nice. There it is. Paintball gun. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, what else we got in here? More hats. This junk. couple pieces of change there I don't see anything else really in there that's other than these batteries that's hyper tough that's a Walmart brand and uh, that's black and Decker oh here we go there's the hyper tough all right so there's that 
Next box. Oh, why would you keep that? A used firework. I don't feel anything in these. We're not going to go through them. Just a bunch of junk there. Liz Claiborne. This one's this one's kind of nice. More stuff. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What is this? Is this real? Is this a real Louis Vuitton? Ooh. I don't know. Louis Vuitton Paris. If this is a real LV, we're talking about some money now. I don't know. I am not good with these. For some reason, I just feel like it's not real. But whoever did this put a lot of effort into faking it if it's fake. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a real Louis Vuitton. Let me know. This thing's got a bunch of stuff in it. What kind of goodies we got in here? Actually, let's look in here first. Alright, I don't see anything else. Everything else looks like junk. Pills. More pills. There's a dugout for your pot. Nothing. Next box. Okay. What's in here? Junk. Ooh. That's cool. It's a horn. A bogan. Aruba. Maybe it's the Aruba horn. Who knows? All right, guys. Oh, I'm going to get this stuff loaded up, and we'll get back to it. Okay, guys, I just pulled this box off the top of that right there, and we're going to go through this uh, about as quickly as we can. Uh, it said closet stuff, so who knows what we might find in here. There's, I mean, there's literally just a bunch of stuff in here. So I don't know if anything's going to be worth anything, but we're going to find out. Uh, that was, I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is cool. Uh, don't know if it's all there, but that is a scope, y'all. Um, it's a Gamo scope. Have no idea who the maker is. Okay, maybe we'll find a gun in here. Boy, wouldn't that be something. Oh, here we go. Oh. Got a little Fuji film camera action. Be careful, Jason. You don't know what's in here. Here's another camera. Five megapixels. Man, that thing's old. VTech phone. Random stuff. That's an old Hot Wheel. 2014, not that old. Okay. Yeah, that's... Meth headish. Look at there, guys. Holy crap. Hang on. Let's get to it. Nice little tool bag. Random junk. A lot of random junk. You got me, dude. Alright. Look at this. 
Swift 4 by 12 by 40 scope. Nice. Looks good. Nice. Cool. What else we got in here? Here's another one. Uh, center point. 3 by 12 by 44. Scope. I will take it. Holy cow. Oh, look at there. That is not what you want to see. Ugh. What in the hell is wrong with people? Ugh. That's nasty. Uh, that's why you got to be careful going through this stuff because you just never know what you're going to find. Um, all right, let's go back over here and dig around some. Another? This is a Nintendo DS. Okay, so we found a DS, a 3DS, a Nintendo 64, and a Sega Genesis so far. That's crazy. All right, I got to... Hurry this up, cause I know I don't. I, I sure hope I'm not boring you guys. There's a a something. What is this? Oh. Six channel stereo mic mixer MX12. Huh. That's pretty cool. Missing, uh, missing the power supply. Maybe I don't know. Okay, Sony six-channel stereo mic mixer MX-12 flashlight battery. Weird. I'll have to look that up. What else we got in here? That's just a power supply. And uh, what's this? Whole bunch of nothing. Don't know what that was. Oh, that's a battery-powered uh, headlamp. Oh, just a bunch of crap. Literally. A whole thing of it. I'm going to have to go through this a little later. Because you got to... I just don't want to run across any needles without gloves on. So I'll go through that later. Um, here's this, uh, window unit. This has got something in it I'm not sure of, but we're not going to go through that right now. Um, this, I'm not going to go through it right now. Let's get back here and look at what we've got in these. Oh. Okay. Looks like a 18 volt skill saw. Trash. Here's a little sander. That looks like it's Ryobi. Maybe, maybe not. It's colored like Ryobi. Some more knives. More butane lighters. <laughs> okay. That's pretty much it in there. It's a nice bag though. What else? What else? This looks like trash. And in here. There's a drill. Random crap. Fishing tackle. That's a leapfrog. Another pocket knife.
kind is this? China crap. Oh well. Alright guys, so this really just looks like a bunch of food and kitchen stuff in here. So, we're just going to set that off to the side. Nobody cares about that. Moment of truth here, guys. Oh, there's the knife I just used. Moment of truth. Right here. What's in it? What's in it? Stuff. Uh, just looks like a microwave, a fan, a couple fans. And uh, definitely not what I was hoping for. Oh, well, it is what it is. This right here is really cool. I know you can't see it. Let me back up. Okay, so obviously the mattress is more than likely trash. I'm not even going to try to sell it. I'm just going to gonna go straight to the dump. But this right here is really cool. If I can get it uh, cleaned up, I'll probably just drag it out and power wash it and let it air dry. But what it is is it lays only a few inches above uh off the ground and uh the top here um elevates so it's kind of like a lounge chair is essentially what it is so that's really neat but uh i think overall there's a lot of trash but there's also a lot of sellable items in here so i think we did all right so yeah guys uh 80 dollars for this storage unit not bad at all in my opinion my opinion uh we found a Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, uh, three scopes uh, for guns, three gun scopes. Um, we found a motor. <laughs> to what? I don't know. Um, what else did we find? Uh, the window unit, if it works, is worth some money. Um, that Lasco fan, that's like 70 or 80 bucks. Um, Bunch of pocket knives, bunch of Zippo lighters, and uh, some tools. Got some tools as well. So overall, I am actually surprised at this uh, this locker. It was a great unit. We're gonna get this loaded up, and we'll go to the next one.